Hey everyone, let's just talk quickly about setting pre-roll and post-roll values for your recordings in your Pro Tools sessions. All right, let's get going. Okay, so say that you need to do a little bit of a re-recording of one specific spot in a tune. So we set our selection so that we are gonna re-record this chunk of guitar track. So first thing you might notice is it's a little bit confusing uh, where we are, right? So maybe that's the only spot with an error and we need to fix that spot, but it's a little hard to get a sense for the rhythm and everything if you just play back that selection. And if you just record it right away, the musician's gonna have no idea of the feel. So the solution to that is to play back a little bit of extra music ahead of the, where they're gonna start recording. And the musician can even be playing along here and then it'll start, it'll record arm here and record them. And then they may want to hear a little bit of audio afterwards too. So those two things are called pre-roll and post-roll. So pre-roll means we're going to hear some music before the recording starts. And post-roll means we're going to hear a little bit after. So right now we're going to have one bar of pre-roll set. And let's set it to one bar of post-roll as well. Maybe we'll do two bars of pre-roll. So we're going to hear two measures of pre-roll and one measure after that recording selection. So here's our selection. And now you'll notice that in the timeline, you have a little flag here. That little yellow flag means pre-roll is on. If it's not on, it will be white. And same thing for post-roll back here. And this means we will hear from here, the recording will start at the red arrow. It'll stop recording, then we'll hear a little bit more. And I'm just gonna do it so you can hear it. I'm not gonna actually record any audio in, but I will go ahead and hit record. Hearing the pre-roll, recording starts. Notice the guitar is gone. And then we hear a little bit more afterward. And that's that. I'm gonna hit undo, get my music back. All right, so that's the first thing. So setting pre-roll and post-roll, I very rarely use post-roll, but pre-roll I use all the time. So with link timeline and edit selection on, right there, you can actually, here's your selection, you can actually just hold down option or alt and click before the selection and you'll get your pre-roll start point. So watch the flag here. I'm moving the flag. I'm holding down option and clicking and I'm getting new pre-roll spots which is awesome because you can just click on a specific place. And same thing if you go past the selection and click. The other thing you should know is Command K, which will toggle pre-roll and post-roll. So it's really annoying to have pre-roll or post-roll on when you're playing back. So if I just play back now, I don't get to hear this selection because pre-roll and post-roll on. I will have to listen to almost two bars of music here and to a bar of music here. And that's going to be kind of annoying before I can hear my spot. So you might want to, while recording, have this on and then quickly toggle it off so you can listen back and see if that record pass worked. So Command K to turn them off and then Command K to turn them back on really fast. And that's Command or Control K for Windows. Cool. So nice, easy tricks for setting up your pre and post roll and toggling them. All right. That's it for that one. See you in the next one.